Hey folks, welcome back. My name is Krishna, and in this video, we're gonna take a look at how you can create repeating objects in perspective. So let's get right into it. We're gonna start off by creating a very, very simple object so that you can understand how this technique works. I've drawn here what resembles a fence post. And the technique is as follows. I'm going to, first of all, make a copy by hitting Command-J on the Mac, Control-J on the PC. Then I'm gonna hit Command-T. That activates the Transform tool. And all I'm gonna do is now move this copy over and I'm going to scale it down. If you hold down the Option or the Alt key, you can scale uniformly um, without having to scale on one corner. It basically shrinks the whole thing. I'll hit Enter. And then the power move here is Shift, Option, Command, T. And you can see that I've got as many copies of this fence post. Each copy is on its own subsequent layer. At that point, you can just simply merge those layers. You can draw your fence posts and you can be done with it. But what if you have objects that overlap? Let's take a look at that example. So I've got something like this, the statue here. I'm gonna repeat that same technique. I will hit Command J to make a copy. I'll then hit Command T to activate the transform tool. I'll move this copy over a smidge. Holding down the Option key, I can make the subsequent copy a little bit smaller. And I'm gonna have a little bit of this overlap here. Maybe I'll just make it a little bit larger so you can see that there's more of an overlap. If I hit Enter, you're gonna see that there is an issue here. Basically, the line from the first object are kind of overlapping the lines of the second object. Let's just roll with this for now. Uh, you can work around this and I'll show you a, a better solution to this. So if I hit Shift Option Command T, we have these extra copies. What you're gonna have to do before you merge is you're going to have to go to each layer and you're going to have to manually use the lasso tool to get rid, like so for example, in this particular case, I would have to go to this layer with the second statue and cut. And you can do that, it's not really fun, but it is a potential solution. I've got a better way. Let's take a look at that. So I'm gonna just get rid of all of the stuff and I'll keep my original statue here. This time what I'll do is I'm going to make a new layer underneath my statue and I'm going to fill it in with a specific color. I'm gonna next take the sketch and I'm going to merge it with the fill by holding down the shift key. If I hit command E, it merges everything together. So let's take a look at what I'm going to do next. I'm going to first of all take the transform tool and I'm going to make this copy very, very small. I'll hit enter. Now I'm going to hit command J, which makes a copy. Command T which brings up the transform tool. I'm gonna to move this copy over and with the option key held, I'm just gonna scale this up. And I wanna make sure that um, the bottom edges line up. So I'm pretty okay with that. Now if I hit Shift Option Command T, you can see that I don't have any extra work that I have to do. You will notice though that the larger copies look a little bit more pixelated. So this is really what I would consider using for an intermediate stage before you actually go back and you ink. This is great for penciling. You can take these layers, you can merge them, drop the opacity, and then you can actually come back in with black and you can actually begin inking and you know doing what you need to do. Uh, but I found that to be super helpful, especially when you're creating things like I don't know, like some kind of a tomb or, you know, some kind of a museum or something like that. This really saves a considerable amount of time. And speaking of saving time, if you found value in this video, please consider giving this a like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing. I've got plenty more tips and techniques just like this one here that I think will help you level up your digital art game. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.